Hey everybody, thank you for joining me. You and I both know there are a ton of application chores out there that are considered by any standard to be complex, difficult, time-consuming, and costly. Well, listen up. Use a Red Lion Data Station Plus, a modular controller, or a G3 operator interface panel coupled with Crimson 3.0 software, and let's make this simple. In this video, I'll show you how to use Crimson 3's Auto Translate utility to configure a single database in multiple languages using only a couple of mouse clicks. Then we'll take a quick look at how to invoke that language translation at the user level using one of Crimson 3's powerful system functions. This is yet another way, in a long list of ways, using a Data Station Plus, a modular controller, or a G3 operator interface panel with Crimson 3.0 software will net you a huge time-saving bonus over writing multiple databases for a single purpose. Let's take a look at how this works. In this example, I'll start with a database configured in English for a G308 operator interface panel and show you how to use the auto translate utility to bring in the Spanish and Chinese translations for the button menu at the bottom of the page. Before we do that though, I'd like to point out that on the file menu under utilities, there is a universal auto translate selection that would auto translate each and every string of the text in the database. In this case, we don't want to do that because we want our language selection buttons to remain in their respective languages. So I'll be showing you how to do the translations on each individual item. The translation process starts by navigating to the Display Pages category and highlighting pages at the top of the navigation pane. Making sure the Global tab is selected, slide down to the bottom of the Open Workspace under Languages and click on the Configure Translation link. In my example, I've decided on English, Spanish, and Chinese. Notice that the languages are numbered starting with zero, so English is language zero, Spanish is one, and Chinese is two. That will come into play shortly when we set up the language selection buttons. Next, under Auto Translations, the method defaults to System Lexicon, then Web Service. The System Lexicon is a Unicode text file, basically a lookup table with tons of standard words and phrases used in industrial automation and process control, along with their translations in several common languages. With method set this way, the Auto Translate function checks the System Lexicon or lookup table first, finds what it can there, then goes out on the web to finish the job if it has to. I'm going to eliminate the lexicon from the process and use web service only. And the two web services available are here and I'll leave this set for Google Web APIs. I trust by now you've figured out in order to make either selection that says web service work, your computer must be connected to a web service, that is to say the internet. Click OK and our languages are configured. In the next step, let's move to one of my display pages, and this is the point in the process that if I wanted to do an auto-translate of every string of text in the entire database, I could use the auto-translate selection on the file menu under Utilities. But I also want to show you a couple of options for translating individual items. If I double-click my first button and click the Translate button beside the text field, the most basic option is to simply type in your own translations. This could be useful if there's no internet connection to do the auto-translate or if, after you've done an auto-translate, you need to make amends to what Google or Microsoft thought you wanted to say. And then there is the main attraction of this video, ladies and gentlemen, the auto-translate link. Providing you have a connection to the internet, just click the link and watch Crimson 3 and Google do the rest. I like that so much, let's do it again. Double-click the Alarms button, Click the Translate button, click the Auto Translate link, bang, translation complete. Now just repeat that process for the other three buttons and you've just made short work of the translation process. Now we need a way to switch languages at the operator level, so we're going to assign a system function called Set Language to each of these three buttons action field and it goes like this. Double click on the first button, select the Action tab, and in the drop-down list for operations, select User Defined. Now I could tell you what to type in here, but I'm going to show you where to find it in the resource pane too. Click on System, Functions, and expand the UI folder. There it is, Set Language. Drag it over to the On Pressed window and drop it into place. 
Remember earlier when I pointed out that the languages were numbered 0, 1, and 2? Well, the argument in this function is the language number, so in this instance, since English is language 0, we are finished with this button. Now we just repeat this process for the other two buttons and simply change the argument accordingly, Spanish being language 1 and Chinese being language 2. Next, we'll wrap this up by showing you two ways to check the functionality of the translations. The first way is to make sure that you've clicked on some part of the display page to enable the toolbar at the top, and you'll find a flag button right here. Drop that down and select a different flag, and the text that we translated appears in their respective fields below. The other way to check the translation functionality, short of downloading to a G308 and actually pressing the buttons, is to download to the emulator, and that goes like this. Go to the toolbar, and just to the left of the mighty download lightning bolt is a button that enables download to the emulator. Click on that, and then perform a download. Now you are emulating the actual screen of a G308, and by clicking on the language buttons, you can see that we have successfully slayed the language translation dragon, slicing it down to a manageable task that anyone can perform. Pressing escape ends the emulation process, and that's what I'm going to call a wrap. And so, with just a few minutes' time, a couple of point-and-click maneuvers, and of course, some of the slickest hardware and software on the planet, Red Lion takes another dirty job and cleans it up with simplicity. To learn more about Red Lion's interface products and Crimson 3 software, please visit us at redlion.net, and thank you for letting us share this exciting product information with you.